Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can add a website as a live wallpaper background on your Mac. I'm going to use a free app called Plash and what this allows you to do is you can just add a website URL and it will display it on either of your screens. And you can set updates and you can add more than one URL. Let's get into it. To get Plask, go into the App Store and then do a search for Plash. And then all we've got to do is press Get, Install and you'll need to sign in with your Apple ID. And once you've installed it, open Plash. Get started. And then up here, you see you've now got a new symbol. You can add a website, paste in the URL, and then it should load the title of the website for you. Press Add. OK. And now we can see in the background, our website's loaded. And you can add more websites with the plus symbol. So just add the URL in and then press add. And then you can just select which one you want to use. So I'm going to select this one. I can close everything down. So you can see I've got all my Mac icons down the bottom and now I've got the website as the background here so I've got live weather on my screen all the time. If you need to adjust any settings go on the plash thing up here go to settings and you can tell it to reload every couple of minutes so you can set it to reload once every minute you can set it to launch at login so that's going to appear when you start up you can adjust the opacity of it so you can have it mixed and you can tell it which display to show it on I've got two displays so I could set it to go on my other display so it's now swapped it over to my other screen and then back to my studio and you can also have it show on all spaces which will put it on each screen and then we've got a shortcuts tab so you can record your own shortcuts so you can have it go from one website to the next and then there's a few laptop settings and obviously mute the audio I'd highly recommend that so you're not having strange sounds in the background and you can clear all the website data and refresh it if you want to switch between websites that you've already got, you can just go up to Flash, go to Switch, and then you can just flick that and it will swap to the other website. But sometimes you might get stuck with privacy policies and things like that if they pop up on screen. <laughs> Enable browsing mode, click agree, and there you go. Then we can now turn it off browsing mode and you're back on your desktop and that fixes that. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. Well, if you didn't like it, hit that dislike twice and thanks for watching.